easy way to display interactive content to users. To add a lesson, turn editing on. Add an activity. Lesson. Give the lesson a name. Perhaps a time limit. We can attach a file to be viewed by the student. Save and display. Let's add some content pages. Give the page a title. And some content that can be formatted, including text, hypertext, media, and so forth. Then we uh, then we include navigation from this page to subsequent pages or elements within the lesson. So we'll have three topic pages. Let's add those subsequent pages. The important thing here is to be certain that the jumps take you to the desired page or element in the lesson. And it might be a case of the user interacting with the content in a very structured and linear fashion or a, a random and nonlinear. You need to decide that. Okay, now that we've we'll in fact had a question as well, then we'll come back and tidy up those jumps. We'll add a question toward the end of the lesson after the three topic pages. See there's a variety of question types. Choose multiple choice. Add a question page. Okay, and if the user in fact chooses the correct answer, answer one in this case, we will end the lesson. And they get a score of one. The other answers are incorrect. All right, let's now tidy up the navigation. So we revisit each of these content pages.
Okay, so let's see this from, we can certainly preview it here, if we get to, to get the full effect, let's preview it from the student perspective. You can see the, uh, the linked media there, that would be the downloadable file on topic page topic one, topic two, topic three. You can see that the timer has elapsed. And lastly, the question. That's a lesson.